When you are building a Flutter app, you will undoubtedly need to share data between screens and widgets. This is called state management. Luckily for us, Flutter gives us a variety of ways to handle state within our app. The recommended way is to use Provider. In this video, I'll show you how to install the Provider package in your Flutter app and how to use it following the best practices. As always, the code for this video can be found on my GitHub. Firstly, go ahead and add the Provider package to your pubspec.yaml. Inside of main.dart, as you can see, I removed all of the starter code and replaced it with some pretty basic boilerplate code. I have a simple app and I'm setting the initial route to my home page. Go ahead and create a screens folder and inside of there, create a new file named homescreen.dart. Inside of here, import your material.dart and create a stateless widget. Go ahead and import that back inside of main.dart. Now inside of homescreen.dart, I added some basic code. We have a scaffold, we have an app bar, we have some text in the center, and most importantly, we have a floating action button. And inside of there, there are three buttons. So this is a variation of the starter flutter project, but instead of just being able to add, we can now subtract and reset it to zero. So what we're gonna do in this video is use Flutter Provider to handle the state of this counter. Go ahead and create a new folder inside of lib called providers. This is where all of our providers will live. Create a file named counterprovider.dart. Inside of here, import our material.dart package and then create a class named counter. So all of our providers will have the with change notifier. And all this will do is allow us to listen for change events. Inside of here, create a variable int for our count, initialize it to zero. Then we're gonna create a getter so we can access this count outside of this file. Now we can create various methods for the subtract, add, and reset. We'll start with the increment method. All we're gonna do here is increment the count by one. Go ahead and do the same for subtract and reset. Back inside of homescreen.dart, import the provider package and the counter provider.dart file that we just created. So now we're going to change the on pressed event for each of the floating action buttons. So to access the methods we just created, we can say context.read, passing in the name, so counter, and then we can call the method off of that. So for example, we'll call increment for the first method, and then we can do reset and decrement. Now, when we go ahead and click the buttons, that method will be called. Now we also want to read that value. We can grab the value by saying context.watch, passing in our counter name, and then we can just call any variables we want. So we can say dot count. Now, if you go ahead and run this, you will get an error. To fix this, we need to go into main.dart. Now inside of the run app method, we need to add our providers. So we're gonna use what's called the multi provider. So we just created the counter provider, that's one provider, but you're probably gonna have multiple providers and you can add all of them here. Before we do that though, we're gonna set the child equal to the my app widget. Now we can pass in any providers we have created. Now the counter provider is a change notifier provider and we can set create equal to our counter. Now go ahead and import the provider package and our counter provider. Now you can see everything is fixed, but when we click the buttons, we still don't get anything on the screen. And that is because although the methods are working, we're not actually notifying the listeners. So our provider is not registering any change. So inside of our counter provider, we need to add the notify listeners method. Once you do this for each of our methods, we should be able to see it on the screen. One last thing to note, because we have context.watch 
inside of our widget, it will rebuild the entire widget, which is not a problem in Dart and Flutter because that is very quick. However, we can create a standalone widget for the count and only rebuild that widget on changes. You can see me doing that here, although it is not necessary. Let's go ahead and add the count inside of the app bar as well, just to show that you can have it anywhere on the screen. So that is our first provider. Now let's go ahead and create one more provider. Go ahead and create another root. We'll call this second, and we're just gonna point this to a widget called second page. Go ahead and create that screen inside of the screens folder. And go ahead and create the provider. Now what we're gonna do here is create a very basic shopping cart. So we'll name it shopping cart provider. Import material.dart. And just like we did with the counter provider, do the same with the shopping cart provider. Now, as you can see, instead of having an integer, we have a list of type string. We have a getter that gets the count by calling the dot length method, and we have a getter that gets the entire shopping cart. Finally, we have a method add item, and all this will do is add an item to the cart. Back inside of second screen, you can see I added some code, and just like our first screen, the second screen has a floating action button, and on pressed, we are invoking our add item method, adding the item bread to the cart. And you can see on the screen we have a column with two text widgets. We are watching the count of the shopping cart, and we are watching the actual cart. Go ahead and import that root. And on the home screen, we'll add an elevated button with a navigator that sends us to that screen. Add the provider to our providers list. And the last step is to fix an error I forgot. In the roots, we need to add a slash in front of second. Now everything should be working. Give it a restart. And if we hit launch screen, you can see we are brought to the second screen. And when I click the button, you see we are adding the item bread to the shopping cart and it is changing in real time on the screen. One more thing to note, you can see in the app bar, we have the count from the previous screen. This would be very complex to do if we were not using provider. And instead we're using a simple set state method. So that is it guys. That's how you add the provider package to your Flutter application to handle state.